All right, Shalom. Let's start first by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Arakakwadash. That's all praises and glory unto the Most High God Yahweh, the only begotten Son Yahweh Shai. And uh, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Shalom. Um, quick lesson should be pretty quick. Um, as you see on the screen, that's the sentiment <laughs> that you Edomites are beginning to have. Okay? But we're Christians. It's not fair. We don't get salvation. No, you don't. No, you don't. And neither do the heathen. Okay? And, um, Lord willing, um, there's a couple other lessons I'd like to branch up this off into. But uh, as far as this one goes, um, Edomites complain, man. You know, it's not fair. Oh, it's not fair? Why? Because Jacob supplanted you for the birthright? No, you gave the birthright up. Matter of fact, let's go to that right quick. Okay. Let's go to that right quick. This is Genesis chapter uh, right there. Genesis 23. Um, so like it's Genesis 25 and 23. Genesis 25, 23 says, um, no, 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 let's jump down to the main point. Um, yeah, verse 28, in fact, 27, the boys grew and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Jacob are you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. That's the, our forefather, okay? The son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, okay? That's how the birthright and the promise went through the that, okay? <clears throat> All right? And Esau, is, you Edomites, man, you so-called white people. Uh, the wicked, the Bible speaks of the devil incarnate in the flesh. Okay, Satan in the flesh, the adversary in the flesh, the... The accuser is the devil, okay? You that's that's the role you were cast at in the most high God's movie. You gonna tell the director or the writer of the movie that, that he can't cast you as that? Well, too bad. Alright? It says and Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebecca loved Jacob. And Jacob saw it pottage, and Esau came from the field and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee. With the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore, his name was his name called Edom, which is Adawam in the Hebrew, which means red. Okay? It says, uh, and I shall as Esau. It says, um, and Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. An unreasonable request. Right? But what did Esau say? He said, and Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall it be to the, this birthright do me? And Jacob said, Swear me this day. Swear me this day. <clears throat> and he swear him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob so he could eat, man. Okay? So he can eat. That's, that's how weak this man is. And then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage and lentils, and did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Okay? So he actually did. So this is, th that deal was, 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 was real. Okay? Even though you go earlier in the chapter, the prophecy was given to Rebecca that the elder would serve the younger. But uh, uh, the kids didn't know about it and Isaac didn't know about it. So the 27th chapter was the fulfilling of that um, prophecy given unto Rebecca played out in actuality. Well, Jacob supplanted Isaac as well. Okay? He tricked Isaac and him and, and praying the blessings unto him of the rulership of the whole world, which was all prophecy from the Most High. Because Esau thought he could make the deal and then later he get the he get the renege like he do, Indian give or whatever you want to call it. Well, it didn't work that way, and it still don't work that way. You don't get to sow wickedness in the earth and think there's no consequence for that, okay? 
And that's why the so-called uh, Edom, well, the so-called white man, but the Edomites have been trying to kill Jake ever since. You go to 27th chapter, he said, uh, the time for mourning my father is at hand, but thus will I, then will I uh, slay my brother Jacob. And he's been trying to slay us, and he's been slaying us, not trying, he's been slaying us ever since. Anytime he had his, his opportunity, he was slaying you, you, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Tell me that that ain't happening all over the world. Tell me that that ain't happening. He's slaying everybody, but particularly when we wasn't even involved, he would, he would jump in and slay us. Okay? Anyway, so um, we weren't in rulership in the time of the Greeks or the time of the Romans when they just, 70 AD, we weren't in rulership when they just come through there and just slaughter us for no reason. You know, time of the Greeks killing us because he wanted everybody to, to take on his laws. Okay? Helping out the other nations destroy us. Anytime time he found us, he was trying to, trying to slay us. Okay? But they said that in Genesis, the third chapter, there will be enmity between talking about the Satan and uh, and Esau. I mean, Satan and Esau, yeah. Satan and Jacob, Israel, the woman. Okay, this is the third chapter. Anyway, so let's get into it. So Numbers chapter thirty-five, verse thirty-three. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the so-called white man, Esau, has defiled all the lands that he's been a part of us, particularly the apple of the most high's eye, Israel, so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, okay, over here in this land, but all over the world, he's been slain. Okay, it says, uh, <clears throat> the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So yeah, you can't get salvation. You have to get the punishment that's coming to you for all the blood you you shed. Okay? And you can you go to Hebrews. You could matter of fact, let me go there now. Let's go to the book of Hebrews. Chapter. Let me get there real quick. Book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator. Or a profane person, someone outside the temple, outside the statute of laws and commandments, outside of the, the righteousness of the Most High, as Esau. Meaning he, and if you look at his actions, he does exactly the opposite. You go through the first five books of Moses, this man breaks every last law in there. Okay, whether you understand it or know it or not, that's what he does. This man is a vile man, he's a killer, he's a rape, rape, robbery, and murder, man. That's what he does. He does all of those things. Okay, it says, um, Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright? For ye know how that after he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. He wouldn't have done nothing good with it anyway, but the prophecy was given to Jacob anyway. All right? It says, uh, For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. You can cry all you want, it's not fair. It was my turn, it's my turn to rule. Because, what, Isaac gave him a blessing. When you go to the 27th chapter of Genesis, he said, when thou shalt have the dominion, this was it. This was it, but this was not forever. Okay? Just when you would have the dominion, you're going to break the yoke off, uh, off, off, of, uh, off your neck that Jacob would have over you, and you would rule. And you would rule so cruelly. But guess what? After, that, after this time, you got to go back in. You got to go back in. <laughs> back into slavery. You gotta go. For all the crimes that you done done on the earth, did you think that you would just get away with that? We ain't getting away with it. Two thirds of the most highest people ain't getting away with it. We serve hardcore bondage and slavery. The scriptures say those who were supposed to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. Now we gonna pass to the cup, okay? The the, the most bitterest part of this, you gonna have the most bitter slavery ever, okay? And deservingly so. I got stuff written down, but I'm just going to keep freestyling. Why not? Let's go to the book of um, 2 Thessalonians. Yeah. Yep. This is only fair, man. It's, it's fair that this is happening. Yeah, it's fair. Nobody, nobody care about your tears, man. Nobody care. 
if you didn't care when you when, when you did all of the wicked things you did to us, taking our taking our children out of our arms, wrapping a rope and throwing them out to the alligators for gator bait. You cut our pregnant women's stomach open and stomped the babies and stuffed it back in there. And now you celebrate a feast after it. You went crying then when you hung us up, chopped our rods off, and burnt us from the tree, and did it in the name of our book of Christianity. You went crying then. There's still evidence of this stuff on the planet. Your internet is speaking against you. The earth is helping the woman right now. We're digging up artifacts proving what you did, man. We, but we knew, because you were so prideful, you showed it. Okay? Everything is against you in this earth. It's revealing you in this time. All right? <clears throat> so, Thessalonians 1 and 6, seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High God, your house. To recompense, what the word recompense means to pay back. Okay? Tribulation to them that trouble you. And you've troubled us since your existence on the planet. You troubled us in the garden with Eve when you was in that in that flesh. You were dark-skinned then. Then you troubled us as Cain when you murdered us, when you murdered Abel. All the way to Jacob and Esau and all the way to now. Okay? You deserve everything you're going to get. And you deserve to get eradicated off the planet after you served your thousand years of slavery. Okay? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's what's going down. Um, let me go to Proverbs right quick. Uh, yep. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1. Fall. A false balance is an abomination unto the Most High God, Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. Yeah, it'd be unbalanced if, if you got to just do all his wickedness and then get your payback and then get, get, get recompensed. We didn't get our, our recompense for all the wickedness you did. Okay? you just, Everything you did, every way that you got uh, uh, in power and the way you ruled when you was in power, Preserve everything that's coming to you. Okay? Everything to you. Most high is going to kill you people. Okay? In a very painful, brutal, and severe way. And two-thirds of our people going right along with you because they're just as wicked as you, following after your red ass. Okay? Let's go from there. Um, oh, yeah. Let's go from there. We're going to go into... Uh, where do we want to go? Yeah, let's go to... Let's go to um, Revelation. Go to Revelation. Classic scripture. This one you can't run from. You can't run from this one. It's the one you can't run from. Okay? <laughs> can't run from this one. Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Okay? But, but, but everybody did slavery, yeah, but you led us into captivity. The apple of the most high is out. You led us into captivity. And you ruled real harshly over us. You didn't you didn't rule by it. Even though you picked this book up and tried to call it your own, talk about this Bible, you didn't rule us by the rules of this book. When our iniquity had an end, you perpetuated it, pursuing the uh, Ezekiel the 35th chapter. You, you forwarded the affliction. You just kept going and going and going because it, it was perpetual. Okay? Well, you got the punishment that comes with this. He that leadeth to the captivity, captivity, he that killeth with the sword. Didn't that sound like what that said? The, lands, the, the land can't be cleansed, but by the blood... But of the blood shed, but by the blood that shed it. Okay, from the book of Numbers. Okay, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is what we wait for. Blessed is he that get to see the downfall of his enemies. Okay, we're gonna go into um. Yep. Yep. Psalm fifty. Yep. Let's get it. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the book. 
the book of Psalms, chapter 50. But, uh, uh, verse 16, but unto the wicked, the most high God saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? You had the book, but you didn't rule us with the book in righteousness. You beat us down to a pulp, man. You beat us to a, to, to, to no end. And what? You thought that the most high wasn't going to have something to, to do about that by, by you taking the book and you having the words and you beat us and killed us. And there's a limit to how many times you could whip us in the back. But you kept going. You felt better. Okay? And that's among other things. All the rules. And you didn't rule us with it. Okay, Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, the Most High said, What have I to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing that thou hatest instruction, and cast it away my words behind thee. Yeah, you, you threw the words out. You threw the limits out. You broke all the rules. And think it's just going to be all right. It's not. It's not. Okay? You got to deal with this. It's punishment that comes to you. I'm going to jump to this one right quick. Is it just because it's right here? Uh, Psalm 49. It's in 11. It says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. <laughs> You think it's going to go on forever, and it's not. And, it, and, and you go crazy, man, fear. It doesn't matter what you think is fair. In fact, let's go to the book of Romans. We'll go to Romans, the ninth chapter. Romans, chapter 9. I'm going to jump down to the point. Matter of fact, I'm going to jump up. Um, verse 6. No, no, no. Verse seven. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all, all. Excuse me. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham, but in Isaac shall the seed be called. Okay, that is, which they which are the children of the flesh are not the children of the Most High God. Just because uh, Ishmael was born first, that don't make him a child of the Most High God. He wasn't chosen. The blessing went through, through Isaac. And just because um, you go through Isaac doesn't make you a child of the Most High God. It went through Jacob. It's, it, it skipped Esau. Okay? It's about to say it. Uh, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. Hey, that was that was it. Sarah got the prophecy. Okay? It says, uh, and not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It's up to the Most High to choose. So I don't want to hear it's not fair. But the Most High is fair, because you had your chance. When we, when we ruled in previous lives and we didn't keep it tight, we went into captivity after captivity. The world was made for our sakes, pursuing a, a second edge of the sixth chapter. Okay, it was made for our sakes. Why are we going to mess up? Because we didn't keep our, our bargain, our end of the deal with the statute and the covenant, the first covenant. Okay, so now he got it perfectly within us. All right, it says, um, uh, where we at? Yeah, verse 12. And it was said unto her, said unto Rebecca, not unto Isaac, the, un, the elder shall serve the younger. Meaning, the, the, who comes out second, who usually will serve the elder, was well, going to switch on this one. Okay? As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? For there is there unrighteousness with the Most High God? God forbid. He's not unfair. That's what he chose. That's what he chose. And he's balanced. You had your chance to rule. But all the wickedness that you've done, you got to pay for that, man. Okay. Let me jump down. Verse 16. So it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. Jumping down a little further. 
Uh, yep. 18. Therefore, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and on whom he will, he hardeneth. And he hardened you, Esau. Okay, he gonna have mercy on Jacob. But he hardened you. Okay? It says, just like Pharaoh, right? It says, that's what it's referencing right above that, verse 19. Say unto then unto me, why do we yet find fault for who has resisted his will? He made me this way. It ain't fair. He made me. Yeah, he did. And you got just like the, the villain in, in your favorite uh, movie. Okay. Whether you liked him as a good guy in other movies, he's the bad guy in this movie. Okay. And, and, and the, the guy, the bad guy got to suffer whatever was written in the script. Okay. It says, uh, nay, but O oh man, who art thou to reply that replies against the Most High? Shall the thing form say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel to honor and another to dishonor? What if the Most High God, here's the point, okay, pay attention. What if the Most High, Yahweh, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, Endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath, fitted to destruction. He's willing to show his wrath fitted to destruction to show and warn the whole earth what he'll do. Just like he did in Egypt, he's going to do it again. He's going to make the world remember, and they're going to remember forever on this one. Never to step up and attempt to uh, uh, test the children of Israel again. Okay, because we're not going to go off no more. Not gonna have a, uh, a chance to come up against us where the most high gonna turn his back. <clears throat> what if me, that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy? The Israelites, man, particularly starting with the elect on down, all right, on down to, to the two thirds that come back in righteousness after death by pain. Okay, it says, um. Which he had afore prepared unto glory. Okay? Which he had afore prepared unto glory. And just because this is a topic going on right now, I'm going to read it and, and drop a little, a few words on it. Then I'm going to close out. Matter of fact, I got one more after this. Yeah, one more verse after this. Another script. Um, uh, verse 24. Even us whom he hath called, not only of the Jews, excuse me, not of the Jews only, but also of the of the Gentiles. That has nothing to do with the heathen. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the other nations. That's still Israelites scattered from the Deuteronomy 28 chapter, still scattered in the four corners of the earth, mingled in with the heathen, but still go back, father lines go back to the Israelites. Okay? That look like the other nations, but are confusion of faces. Okay? So I'm going to try to prelude into the next lesson tied into that. But before we go, I'm going to hit one more script. Back. See, right. 41. See, right. 41. And uh, yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah yeah this is a good chapter um yeah verse 4 no that's for Jake but uh I'll read verse um verse 5 children of sinners are abominable children and they that are uh conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly the inheritance of sinners, children shall perish, and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. Verse 7, the point, the children will complain of an ungodly father. It's not fair. That's why a lot of you are atheists, and you should be. But you're going to believe in the Most High God. Because you knew he, he wasn't dealing uh, with us. So you thought you were doing it on your own will, full of pride. 
that that was your will that was going on. The most high God's will that's been going on that had you in power and that's who's going to take you out of power. Okay, and it is fair. Okay, it turns over. Okay, your turn's over. All this wicked, got, got GMOs, you got Monsanto, you got pedophile rings, homosexuality running rampant. Uh, uh, heterosexual men gets, uh, heterosexual in general will get persecuted for speaking, for, for being, for speaking up that he's proud to be a heterosexual. It's oppressing the, the, the homosexual. Man, this is a wicked ass place, man. A wicked ass place. That's that's small beans compared to what you've done. Compared to what you've done, you've wreaked havoc all over the whole earth, and your day has come. You've been you've been sentenced. Okay. Now you got your judgment is ready to come. We're pulling out all exhibit A, exhibit we way in exhibit Z. We 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 all the way at the end of this thing with you, man. We at the end of this thing with you, and, and this is the end of yours. For, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay, I'm gonna read this one more time. The the children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. You're gonna get yours, man. I was gonna read the book of Obadiah, but I'm gonna hold that, and I had another script I was gonna get to. The whole loads. Okay, so with that. Close out giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Al Shai, Bashim, Al Kakwadash. Apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the Lord.